Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I'm sat in a Jaguar Project 8 and next to me is a Mercedes AMG E63S Estate. So let me tell you about this car. Because it's a bit unusual being sat in a Jaguar but with the steering wheel on the wrong side. Yes, all you Americans watching, this is the wrong side. The right side is the right. Still, this car was never made in right-hand drive. You see, it's a very, very special edition car. Only one of 300 of them were made. It's got a five litre supercharged V8 with 600 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. That drives all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox. There's no launch control though. So to launch it, you just hold it on the brake and build up the throttle and let go of the brake and off you go. It's kind of stripped out a bit. It's got a roll cage in the back, but it still weighs in at 1,670 kilos. I'll tell you what's also quite weighty, the price. These things cost £180,000, which makes that Mercedes seem quite cheap. Now, it's powered by a 4-litre twin-turbo V8. That has 612 horsepower and 850 newton metres of torque. It powers all four wheels via a 9-speed automatic gearbox that does have launch control. That car being an estate is obviously quite heavy. It comes in at 1,940 kilos. It's less expensive than this Jag, though just because it's not quite so rare or specialist. Starts from £100,000. Now it's gonna be interesting to see what happens because these cars are pretty closely matched. Before we get on with the race though, we should do a sound check. And I know this is gonna sound awesome. This Jaguar engine is just, oh, just great. Listen to this. I mean, I've got a soft limiter and despite that, <laughs> Sounds awesome. You can like play tunes with the exhaust. Lovely. Anyway, let's have a listen to that Mercedes. I know it sounds good, but it ain't gonna sound as good as this. I'm telling you. Go on, rev up that Merc. Yeah, pops and bangs. I don't care, this sounds well raspier. What do you think though? Let me know in the comments below which sounds the best Mercedes or Jaguar. Right, before we get on with the race, I need to do a shout out to the guys that have lent me this car. It's CS Panda. Now they've just started a YouTube channel, right? So what I'd like you to do is follow the link in the description to go to their channel and subscribe to them to say thanks for them lending us this car. You see, they've actually got access to loads and loads of cars, which means that um, if you go follow them over there, they might then give us some more cars, which you can then watch and I can race. So let's do that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Carbow channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single video. And why not follow my own YouTube channel, my personal one, at Matt Watson Cars. The link to that is in the description as well. All right, let's just get on with this race, cause it's gonna be exciting. Buying a new car? Head to CarWow to get offers from the UK's top dealers. CarWow.co.uk, the car buying comparison site. Had him off the line. Oh no. Come on, Jag, come on. Come on, oh, no. Oh, it's so close. Whoa, so, so close. Definitely had him off the line, but then AMG power, that twin turbo V8 that AMG makes is just the best engine I think in the world right now, overall. It's immense. This is immense too, though not quite so immense. It'd be a different story if we're going around a track, but we're just going in a straight line today. This lost that. So then what exactly happened? While well, the Mercedes did the standing quarter mile in 11.2 seconds, while well, the Jaguar took 11.3 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort mode and automatic for the gearbox. Let's see what happens. I'm going to count it in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. Oh, it's kicked down. Wicked. Come on, Jack. I'm going to put this down because this could get pretty quick, pretty quickly. <laughs> Oh, this took off better, but now he's going. He 
If we've got a long enough runway, I should come past him eventually though, because this can do 200 miles an hour. That is going to top out 186. But that's the end of the braking. I was probably going to come past him, but there is no way I'm going to risk pushing this car to the very end of this runway because it's collectible, very expensive, and it's just not worth it. It would eventually have come past if I had a long enough runway and big enough balls, but I don't have either today. <laughs> Still pick up and kick down, immense. I'll tell you what, this feels like a proper blooming track car. I mean, that's a big heavy thing, that Mercedes, but this, you can hear everything, all like the stones just rattling around the wheel arches. There's not much soundproofing in here. It lets you feel everything. I'd like to take it on track. Now we can have a rolling race, this time with the cars in their sportiest settings and locked in third gear. And we'll see what happens this time. So I'm gonna count it in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Instant pickup from the supercharged V8. But that is going as well. That Mercedes really is going. It's closer this time, much closer. But he's hauling now, he's hauling. Got an indicated 163 miles an hour. Gonna keep on pushing, can I get past? Come on, big bollocks, Matt, big bollocks, big bollocks. I'm coming past now and I'm braking hard. I'm braking hard. Whoa, this is, this is moving around. I managed to just ease past him <laughs> before I run out of guts, but we had quite a bit of runway left there. I could have held on for a bit longer just to cement my victory, but I think that was a win there for the Jag. I came past in the end, I came past. So Mercedes, I think I just came past you in the end before I decided to break. Do you concur? Yeah, I have to say, this is stopping at 161 miles an hour, indicated here. And you did, you just shot past right at the end there before you hit the brakes, so yeah, congrats. Yeah, 200 mile an hour top speed, you see. Rule Britannia. Finally then, we're gonna do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. This has carbon ceramics, that has steel brakes. Let's see what happens. The Jag definitely won this. So it won one rolling race, it won the brake test, but lost the first rolling race, and of course, the drag race. <sighs> well, that's the one that matters most. Still, not a bad showing, and what a lovely, interesting car it is as well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, let me know about some other drag races you'd like to see in the comments below. Plus, I found an amazing deal on a new AMG. I'm not seeing if it's that one. You'll have to click on the pop-out banner. Yeah, it's up there <laughs> to check out which car it's on and what the deal is. It's pretty immense. It's on CarWow. If you know someone who's looking to buy a new car, tell them to check out CarWow and just Google it. And you can see what awesome deals our trusted dealers can get for them on new cars. And if they're in the UK, Google carwow.co.uk. If they're in Germany, carwow.de. And in Spain, carwow.es because we operate in the UK, Germany and Spain. Now before we go, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Also, please check out CS Handers YouTube channel to say thanks for them lending me this awesome car because hopefully they'll then lend us some more cars. So go subscribe to them as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>